Alright, welcome back, everybody. We're gonna fight the boss. Let's go. Boss key. Boss key, let's go. It's just a giant puddle of blood. Just kidding, it's lava, I think. It's a giant scorpion. There's Valu having his period. Ew. Where's. Where's the fucking. He's gotta go get that chick out of the doctor's. Where's that the crab? Oh no! Oh no, it's Mr. Krabs! Oh yeah, it's Mr. Krabs. Ah! Great oh no. Hi there, buddy! Uh, I need you to piss off. How's a 10 year old boy supposed to fight this shit? What the hell? It's monstrosity. Fucking, this game, this, the fucking gamepad of this thing has fucking motion. Hey, right, what's going on down there? Hey, don't grab my dick like that. Oh god, that's actually really bad. I shouldn't say that. I need to refrain from saying really bad things in this. Yeah. Because Monster. these are children. <laughs> and, and I'm in a spot where I, oh god, the game's, yeah, yeah, the game's tanking. Yeah, the game always tanks here for some reason, I don't know why. There's a lot going on here, it could very well be. The Wii U really was... Was the Wii U an under... Under... An under working console? Cause it really feels like that sometimes. I didn't really remember looking at the specs for it, but... It that way in my opinion, I, I love the Wii U. I think the Wii U was a great console. Yeah, not be great. not because of what it was, but because of the games. The games were great. Yeah, the game it had a really good first party lineup. I I don't think it could run Breath of the Wild very well. I mean I have it on the Wii U. I mean I never I never bought that. I got I got a Switch early early, not day one, but early when it came out. And... I bought the uh, Mario Odyssey edition and um my first three games that I got for it were Art, were Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, and uh, Street Fighter. Mm. Ah, fuck. Ah, uh, this the music here is really cool. I like it. Come here. Let me kill. Let me cut your head off. This is oh pretty God. much the easiest the boss eye. in the game, though. No, my eye. Not into the pit. It burns. See. I win. And now my I leg. crust my leg. <laughs> no. And I rest in peace, foul beast. Rest in peace. Mm. A foul blow for a foul beast. Rest in peace. <laughs> a trophy. Whoa. Oh, the trophy's gone. Oh, it's a heart. Cool. What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Hey. Okay. Oh, now the, all the lava crustins. Crustins away. All right, I was really hoping the entire episode would be this boss, but it looks like it seems it's not. Yeah, it that. seems like that wasn't the case here. You got a heart container. Now you have four hearts, bitch. Whoa! Y'all are rub rubbies. Sorry, Link. I don't. Give credit. I was just about to say that. Sorry, Link. I don't give credit. Come back when you're a little mm, richer. Mm, richer. Mm. I love it. I love that I found people to commentate with. One of my friends so awesome. actually did a playthrough of, um, the, what was it called? The uh, Adventures of Link, I think was the, the Faces of the, Faces the, of Evil. The Faces of Evil, yeah. I was like, fuck, I can't remember what it was called. Guys, just don't worry. He's finishing up his period right now. Just give him some time. Yeah, it's that time of the month again, unfortunately. <laughs> it's that time of the month again. <laughs> we gotta send someone in as a sacrifice. A sacrifice. <laughs> send the kid. Send the kid! Send the kid. We can just make another one. Is that a good mode or is that a bad mode? Uh, maybe it's- maybe it's both. It could be both. Oh no. <laughs> Whoa, I teleported. Cool. FARTS! Sweet. Spin Farts. me around. Look at that big nut. Well, Prince Kamini. Give me, give me the orb. Give me the Dragon give Ball. Orb. Give orb. Give the Dragon Ball. <laughs> give me the Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z. I, I need seven of them. Give me. Super give Saiyan. Me. Farts. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I mistrusted you. I hope I could be like you someday. 
Farts. I'm gonna leave. Yeah. <laughs> Did your parents hate you? Uh. You will, Kamali. I just know it. Right, Farts? Oh, no. I love that I made his name Farts. <laughs> it's so it fits perfectly with the story. So, yes. Giving you the thing I value most will give me the courage I need to stand up to bad things. I don't understand, but okay. This is the gem the Rito's claim was passed down by the great god fucking character from Ocarina of Time or something. I don't know. Great Blue is grateful to you, farts. Hylian text. I don't... Can that be... Tra that's not going to be translated, right? Alright. Are you? I bet you're checking your phone right now on Twitter. But that's what you're fucking How, doing. How'd you know? <laughs> I knew it. That's yes! exactly what I'm fucking doing. I, I feel fucking attacked. knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> oh man. All right, cool. They're calling. You're looking up furry porn, aren't you? Maybe. <laughs> you're looking up. You're looking at furry porn, aren't you, little bitch? Thank you. <laughs> no. All right. Anyway. Hey, Prince Kamali, come back, you little bitch. Thanks so much, farts. See you again tomorrow, someday. I don't know. Fuck you. Beetle! I want to go talk to Beetle. We gotta go talk to Beetle. Beetle, 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 Beetle. I want to talk to you. Thank you. Oh! Oh! Fuck, scream. <laughs> Give me some masturbate. Yeah. Me too. Masturbate. <laughs> Alright, guys. Now that we're done recording, I'm gonna go masturbate to furry porn. See you guys later. <laughs> That's me every day. That's what I do every day, man. I masturbate to furry porn every day. <laughs> Bitch, you guessed it. Bitch, you get. <laughs> oh, my. I look sad now. What's my favorite. What's my, what's my favorite. Beetle uh, came my favorite from rapper, this game. Ice Cube. Bitch, you guessed it. Oh, yeah, we gotta go. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm busy drowning. H horse, are you a horse? You look like a horse. Water and water and water, water and water. <laughs> Another one. What was that that song made years ago? Another one. What was that? DJ <laughs> Alright, we gotta go. Uh, look at this shit. Alright. <laughs> Suck my dick, yo. You learned the Rin's Requiem. Oh, hi, fuckwad. Yep, that's a mighty nice breeze there. Don't ask how I got the cloud from Dragon Ball. Oh and my god. Zephos. I'm the god of the winds, or you could just call me Zephos from the fucking the Yogg's cast. So you're the new wind waker, are you? Great, great, fun beginner. You've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tone you just picked up. Why well, it gives you control over the wind, actually, the wind fucking blows. Fuck it. My fucking voice <laughs> actor doesn't know how to voice correctly. He doesn't know how to give good emotion. It saddens me to say that my brother Cyclos is miffled about his monument here being broken and now he spends his time creating Cyclos to torment people with. He's kind of an asshole. Anyway, bye. Is that it? <laughs> he just takes the- he took the fucking- what's it called from Dragon Ball, whatever that thing is? The fucking- I know what you're talking about. I, I just watched, forgot the name of it, too. I watched, like, the first episodes of the first series, the original Dragon Ball, that didn't air in America until after the second series or something. Yeah. Is this gonna be the episode where we're talking about Toonami? Can it be? Okay, I gotta talk oh, to that. fucking... <laughs> fortunately, let's talk about... Fortunately, let's talk about Sailor Moon and Hamtaro. <laughs> Sailor Moon and Hamtaro. You know, uh, we had this conversation where we were talking about Hamtaro and shit. About, like, that being your first game you played, right? That... That uh, fucking yeah. Game. So when I was very, I have to tell the story now too. When I yeah, was really young, yeah, yeah. So when I was really young, I think it was like maybe 2004. I've been three. Um, before I had a game system of my own, because we always borrowed it um, from other friends and stuff. Um, my very first handheld was a Game Boy Advance. 
And I distinctively remember that, uh, what was it? No, so it was a Game Boy Advance that I got. And we went to do Best Buy to go uh, pick out our game systems. Uh, my brother got the Game Boy Advance SP. I got the original Game Boy Advance. Uh, I still have it to this day. And uh, my mom gave us an option of, like, the limit was you can have... So you're getting, each of you are getting a Game Boy, um, but the limit is you can only have two games. So we're like, okay, I'm down with that. So my brother, who was really into Pokemon at the time, um, got Pokemon Emerald and Fire Red. I, on the other hand, um, the two games that I picked out were... Um, the two games that I picked out were a uh, Super Mario Bros. 3, the GBA port, and the other, the second game, which is funny enough, was Hamtaro and the Ham Ham games, which was developed by Alpha Dream, the people that made the Mario and Luigi games, which they are no longer around anymore, rest in peace. Sad, it's very sad, I um, love their games. It is sad, their last game was uh, Bowser's Inside Story, like the, the remake one. They need to port those games to Switch, There's something They like do, that, like I would collection. love all, hell, they need to put Mario RPG on there. Hell yeah, that'd be... They haven't done that yet, or even a Final Fantasy game, which is kind of a shame. But anyways, um, sure. what happened was... Yeah, here's the thing. So, um, I... That was the first Game Boy Advance game I have ever played, and I have, like, a huge... Like, n like, warm... Like, I have, a, like, a huge, like, spot in my heart for that game. Considering I would wake up every morning, I would bring it with me on trips, I would play it all the time. It was one of those games where, like... It wasn't really challenging, it was just sort of you could walk around and like talk to people. It's like an RPG kind of, and I have it emulated on my on my PC through a GBA emulator. But it yeah, no, that game is very... incredibly, like, I love it to death, and I love the show That's... too. Why is my boat not burning up right now? What the fuck? And I, and, I, and I did research, and I found out that a lot of the people have Hamtaro games say that they're really, really good. Where's so yeah, no, game? there was um Ham the Ham Taro and the Ham Ham games. There was um Ham Taro and Ham Ham Heartbreak, I believe. That was for the Game Boy Color, I think. There was a few. But the one I had was the Ham Ham games. And I remember even holding onto the box because when I was a kid, um I would usually throw them out. My brother kept them because he liked to collect them. Yeah, don't ever throw those out, man. <laughs> he was smart. He was again, he collected a lot of he was going through his phase of collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards as well as um we gotta go far damn we might actually I'm I'm this video is probably gonna go over a little longer than it should yeah uh because I gotta go I gotta travel far I wish I could show you guys on the map but it's like fucking mm -hmm. yeah I gotta travel far down the map I need to get a pro like the the pro controller or whatever so I can get better gameplay for this yeah, like, don't get me wrong, I think the gamepad is a really comfortable controller to have, but I definitely yes, think is. that there are, there are times where it feels like, what's the word, like, like, it's a, it's a little bit unnecessary, like, it's like a very, a it's a big toy. bulky thing. It's a child's toy. Yeah, it feels like a Fisher Price toy, whatever, I'm like, <laughs> in my hands. It feels like that, that weird, that Fisher Price to, uh, controller meme, or whatever that was. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, it feels like a fucking leaf <laughs> art in my hand. Yeah. Or something like that, like a, uh, like actually, a B, like a B tech. Now, now that I'm thinking about this, I think no. Okay, you just reminded me of something. When the very first gaming console I have to memory was the Leapster, that was the very first game console I ever had. If you want to go a little bit further, um, when I was in the hospital with pneumonia, I remember my grandpa, my grandparents got me. Um, it was like 2004, it might have been five. They got me a toy, and it was like this little tiny. It was like this weird, like, portable Etch-a-Sketch, like, little drawing tablet thing, and it was called a Pigster. And it was like this little, it had like a little pen attached to it, and it was basically like a, um, like, you could play games on it, you could draw on it. It was one of those little things, and I remember it was something like that, too. <laughs> I, like, okay, but the Leapster, I remember there was this console, yeah, it was this game console, or there was like two versions of it, there was like the handheld version... Which I remember having. T I think I had one. And my brother had one. And I would play it. This was like it was like this learning thing. It had learning games on it, educational games. And I have memories of me as a kid sitting in bed when I was I was supposed to be asleep playing it. <laughs> so it's just kind of funny. Like, uh, and they used like cartridges. How many of you guys remember the Leapster though? Like, that was like it was like kind of like a Game Boy. Or it was kind of like a DS. 
but it was one screen. It was like it had a lot of like educational games on it. I remember having one as there a was, kid. There was there was a Sonic X game for it that I never had. There was oh a SpongeBob God. game for it. There was an educational SpongeBob game for it. And I remember that th it used like a super digitalized line of Plankton saying, "I went to college in it." <laughs> I remember Is it? Oh my so. god, it should be a meme. That's meme worthy. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, look it up. Look up, look up some video footage of that shit. There's video footage of the Sonic game, but I don't know about the SpongeBob game. There was like a console version of this too, where it was like, I remember having a Bob the Builder game and a Toy Story game. The Bob the Builder game was lit. I, I remember having <laughs> that one on it, on it too. I played the shit out of it. And, and I remember the controller was like a paw or some shit. It yeah, had like yeah, exactly, four multicolor exactly. buttons. I do, I do remember that. The middle button was just a giant circle. And it was simple for children to understand. But yeah, I have so much nostalgia for that. I don't know what happened to that thing though. We don't have it anymore. I don't think those things even go for that much money now. I think last time I checked, I don't know. But yeah, it's interesting. That was the first game console I remember playing very young. I think it was no the V smile. That's what it the was. The V smile. That's that. what it was called. That's what it, it was, was called. It was V smile, wasn't it? The yeah, V that's smile. What I had. That's what it was called. The V smile. Yeah, that's I had so that shit name. too. I remember the V smile was. Um... So here's the thing. Um, I'm glad I was able to solve that mystery because I was like, wait, I think I know what you're talking about. I had one too. So, um, I had a um, I had a leaf smart, and then I had a V smile that came after. I had a like you mentioned. I had the Bob the Builder game. My cousin was lucky because he had the Spongebob game. And that was pretty cool too, but um, the V-Smile was, um, there was a game about, I forgot what it was called, One, somebody on Twitter actually sent me a link to it, but it was a, um, it was a game where you were two kids and there was like this orange alien. I think you know what I'm talking about. Like it was like this alien, it was like this orange alien that they were friends with and it was an entertainment game. But I remember going to camping, like going camping and taking that with me wherever I went, I was obsessed with it. The cool thing about the V-Smile is that even though it was like handheld, you could connect it to your TV and like play games, like play the games on oh, the yeah, I, it was I like the, It was like the Nintendo Switch way ahead of its time. Like it was, you know, way ahead or of even the Wii U. Honestly, the V-Smile was like the fucking, I remember I had a fucking, a game that fucking, I don't remember what this was called, but that cartoon about them spelling letters, and they were they were frogs or some shit. I don't yeah, remember what I it was called. Like, you know, it wasn't Frogger. <laughs> it was no Frogger. <laughs> and I think we've run out of time now. This is the point where I want to end the video here because I think yeah, we should edit at the bee smile. <laughs> yeah, the bee smile. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting though. I really, it's really interesting. Anyway, yeah. Uh, Wait, so before we end, when I when I go to stream Doom Eternal, we're gonna be like like I'm gonna be chased by like eight demons that want to kill me, and we're gonna be talking yeah. about like the fuck yeah, we're gonna be talking about like this video is not gonna come out for a whole probably a week or two. We're gonna be few talking weeks. about like those fucking like like hey, high C was good, right? Remember that drink? But yeah, this video talking about like this video is not gonna come out for for weeks. This is gonna be like the eighth video in the series, I think. Is it okay? That's fine. I mean, I'm, this was really fun to make. And we and you're making a lot of progression yeah. despite me talking. Am I? Yeah, I mean, you're farther. Like, I can't imagine talking while also recording at the same time like that. It's like I can't do both. It's. But yeah, you're you're going far. I've done this shit since I was like fucking twelve. Okay, that's another story to go in for later. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys.